Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. This is the Vito Pro Pack MB Tool Pouch and I'm going to show you my most compact HVAC service tech loadout. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumperman Tech. On the left we have the Vito Pro Pack Tech Pack MC which is currently my main service bag and to the right we have the Vito Pro Pack MB Tool Pouch. To the left, my bag currently is extremely heavy and has way too many tools in there. So in today's video, we're going to downsize into a compact service bag and I wanna show you exactly what I have in it. If anyone is interested in seeing the full tour and tool bag setup for the Vito Pro Pack Tech Pack MC, I will leave a link in this video's description and you will see a pop-up at any moment. One thing I never hear anybody talking about within this industry is your health. Carrying around an extremely heavy tool bag will play a role and take a toll later on in life. So the plan here was to downsize while still being able to perform quality service calls while not putting as much stress on my body. Just a heads up, if anyone finds this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week and let's get straight into it. We're gonna to begin today's tour with my preferred hand protection. And to those who watch my channel, know that I love my gloves. This is the Milwaukee Cut Level 1. Honestly, this is my favorite pair of gloves. Let's go ahead and do a 360 tour on the outside of the bag. Here's the front of the bag, and we have two pouches. One large pouch. and one small pouch. We're gonna go further into detail inside of them as we go along. On the side, we have a pocket here, and we also have this ring where you can add quite a few attachments. We do have a zipper, so this is a closed bag, which I do like. In the back, we do have a little clip here, which is really cool. And we also have two rings here where we also have a nice handle. In the back here, I just add a little clip. This is the coolest little measuring tape. It's honestly all you need. As we come around, we have another pocket here and another ring. And this does come with the bag, not the tape, but the attachment. And here I carry my main roll of tape and a couple of these to color code. Let's begin with what I have on the outside of the bag. One of the most important tools, you need your screwdriver. I have it handy right here, so as soon as I get to the unit, I'm ready to work. This is the Klein Tools 11-in-1 screwdriver, and this is by far the most comfortable and my favorite screwdriver. The screwdriver is great because it has many functions. Instead of just a simple screwdriver, you have 11 tools in one, which is so cool. All these different attachments. It really is great. You got your two different flat heads, two different Phillip heads, you got your quarter inch, you got your 5 16th. I mean, you name it, you got everything here. Moving along, I have another client screwdriver, and this is an electronic screwdriver, and I use this mainly for thermostats and all sorts of controls. This is really a great tool. This little function here makes using this extremely comfortable. This is also a multi bit, so we have a small Phillips head and flat head, along with another Phillips and flat head. Next we have our infamous service wrench. This is the yellow jacket, model number 60616, and this is a four-way service wrench. You have our quarter inch, 5 16th, 3 16 and 3 8 Next I have this bit here, and this is an extension. This tool is great to reach hard to reach areas, and what's awesome, it has this quarter inch chuck so you can put it onto a drill or onto your 11-in-1 screwdriver. I do have a little measuring tape on the side of my bag. Honestly, I wasn't gonna put this here, but it is so small, compact, and cool. <laughs> I just wanted it on there. This is a Milwaukee six foot measuring tape. That's all for that side of the bag. Here we are on the opposite end, and the first thing we have here is our thermometer. This is the Fieldpiece SPK1 Digital Pocket Thermometer. What I like about this is how this extends. Next, we have a 4-inch adjustable. This little guy comes quite in handy. 
Next, we have our core valve removal tool. I have a yellow jacket version and also the CND version. This tool is great. Definitely need something to open and close pins. You never know, you might take off the gauges. Next thing you know, <laughs> refrigerant is shooting out. You wanna close that or you might come on a service call and you might find a leaking Schrader. You can change it with this without recovering refrigerant. Plus you can pull vacuums and do so many things at a much faster rate. This is quite the invention. If we open up our small pouch, we've got a couple little gadgets here. What I do carry is two of these adapters. Whenever you're working on mini split systems that carry 410A refrigerant, a lot of times you're gonna notice it's a different port. So you need these adapters so you can work on those. I carry two of those. This is just a little tool, so I kind of just put it in there. This is a Schrader valve tool, and what's cool is you can use this cap, and you can keep a few Schraders in here, so I keep that as a spare. Gotta have a pair of jumper cables. Would I really be Jumper Man Tech without these? I don't think so. Next, they have a little ratcheting tool with a couple of bits, and this really comes in handy in hard to reach places. Also, that extension bit I have, you can throw any of these on top of there, and it's gonna work. If we open up our big pouch now, first things first, I carry a marker. You guys know I love Milwaukee. This is a Milwaukee worker. Next, what I had in there was two sets of leads. So these leads specifically are micro leads. So when you're working on like control boards and honestly, a lot of those inverter systems, you're gonna need this. Then I have these. Attach this all your little alligator clips. These also come in handy. And then here we have an attachment for my multimeter for a thermometer, and this is the Type K. That's already quite a few tools just on the outside of the bag. We haven't even got to the inside yet where I have my main tools. But what I love about Vito Pro Pack is they make solid bags that really can hold its weight. Let's go ahead and open up the main goods. This bag is different as this is just a pouch and it doesn't have so many places where you can specifically fit your tools. But I must say, this is awesome. Probably our most important tool here. My multimeter. This is the Fluke 902 FC. And as you saw, I carry quite a few attachments for this. And honestly, just a meter and a screwdriver can go a long way. Next, I have another Klein Tools multi-bit nut driver, and this also has many different sizes, so you can just mix and match, and it's really cool. We have another Klein Tool screwdriver, and you can't forget about your stubby. What I love about this is this is also a multi-tool, so we have our Phillips, we have our flat, we have our 5 sixteenths, and you can flip this around. We got our quarter inch. And we have another two sizes of flat and Phillips. Really great. Next we have my Linesman. These are made by Knipex and without a doubt, this is my favorite pair of Linesmans that I've ever had. I also have different versions of the Knipex. I have the thousand volt protected ones, but honestly these are the most comfortable. And what I like about these is that it has a crimping tool in here. Really comes in handy. This tool is amazing. I have another set of Knipex pliers, and these are diagonal cutters. Love this tool. You already know I had to have the full set. This is also the Knipex matching version for our needle nose pliers. So all the tools that I took out from there are inside this pocket. And if you look behind here, all these tools are tucked in in a pocket in the back. So there is its own place for everything. So on the back there, I have another set of Knipex pliers. And these are the Cobras. These are really cool. And I also have the smaller version of this in the back. So here I got two sizes and it's pretty versatile. Next, got to have your adjustable. And you know I love my Milwaukee tools. I also have a second version of this in a smaller size. Definitely comes in handy. That's pretty much the bag here. The only thing that I didn't take apart was these tapes, but I did show that in the beginning of the video. And honestly, 
This is such a cool little bag. It's just awesome, honestly. I love the fact that it's tiny and that I can carry, honestly, a lot of tools. And with all those tools, I could pretty much run any service call. There is just one thing that I do bring along with this. I also bring this little pouch here and this is the field piece, digital probes. These are the field piece wireless gauge probes. And honestly, these are amazing. I definitely prefer this than putting on a pair of gauges as when you have hoses, you lose refrigerant every time you take them off. With this, there's such a minimal loss. This is the way to go. Not only that, but this comes with two wireless temperature clamps. And what's great is that this works off Bluetooth, so you can connect this to your phone and it makes all the calculations that you need. So with this, it reads superheat and subcooling for you. And with this setup, you really become a better technician and you really do more precise work. To think that that tiny tool bag can carry all these tools is pretty amazing. I could probably do without some of these tools, but they're all small and compact where I could throw them in there and I can feel confident going into a service call. One thing that I thought about putting in there was a set of Allen keys, but I honestly rarely use them as far as service. And what I would like to keep in there is a knife, except I keep that on my hip. So the last thing that I wanna show here is even though this comes with a handle and it is comfortable to hold, even though it's compact, this is not the lightest bag, but it's definitely like four times or five times lighter than my last bag. So it's definitely a big help. But what you could do, since you have the clips for it, what you can do is attach a shoulder strap and carry this on your shoulder and it's a big help. Since it has the clips on each end, I just attach it there and you're ready to go to work. The Vito Pro Pack MB2 pouch is quite the little warrior. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.